Hey guys, Sean here. We have a uh, really, really, really nice 2003 Anniversary Edition V-Rod. Vantenheim's pipes. This thing's in great shape. Up. Oh. Truck coming. Do a little walk around on this thing. We're gonna do a little test drive. Good looking bike. All right, let's see how this thing runs. Zipper up my jacket. Now I've been, uh, I rode this earlier today and I really, really enjoy this bike. These are the factory handlebars. Last one I had had some goofy, uh, goofy handlebars and I didn't like riding it. But this bike feels so comfortable. And I, I love the look. I love that, uh, that anniversary edition silver with the two tone and with black. This bike only has uh, 10,368 miles on it. And it actually, uh, this one feels nice and light. It handles really good. It makes you want to throw it into the corners. I really like the way you sit on this bike. Because I'm still, I'm still, I feel, still feel pretty upright. But uh, my legs are a little raked out forward and I, uh, I'm comfortable. Real comfortable. Uh, excuse me. bike's got plenty of power. This is the fastest Harley Davidson by far. And uh, it is a lot of fun to drive. It's very smooth. It's still a V-twin, but it's very smooth. And the reason you'd be buying a bike like this is because uh, you want to buy a Harley, but you still like going fast. Or you just love the looks of it. Or you like the idea that Porsche designed the engine. Or you like the idea that it's water-cooled. Or you don't quite, you don't want a sport bike anymore. But you want something that's not slow. But you want to be a little more comfortable. You, you know, this is a little more comfortable riding position for you. Those are some all good reasons why you would want to buy this bike. Uh, these mirrors are side view mirrors. Don't confuse that with a rear view mirror. You really can't see behind you. It doesn't have the angle to get around you. But it is good for getting that blind spot. It just, it doesn't feel heavy. It's not the quickest thing in the corners, but um, it is fairly nimble. It's got a, uh, I think it's got a 30 degree rake on it. Which is why it's not just real flickable in the corners. But it does, this one feels lighter than the, is it, I, I, had a, I had no four, I just sold it. This one feels lighter, I don't know why. Might be the tires. Very smooth. 10,000 miles is nothing for this bike. The last one I saw it had uh, 18 or 19,000 miles. This bike is in incredibly good shape. Uh, it was obviously garage kept, you know, because all, there's no rust in any of the little bolts or anything like that. Um, you'll be hard pressed find, trying to find any flaw on this bike. Although, um, if you've seen the walk around video, which I haven't made yet, but by the time you see this, I will have made it. If you see the walk around video, uh, I will be pointing out any little flaw this bike may have.
Here we go. Here's a, here's a motorcycle fella. All right, guys. Well, uh, I'm enjoying this bike. I'm actually headed up to uh, a motorcycle parts dealership to grab some fork seals for my uh, Suzuki. And uh, I wanted to hop on this thing, charge the battery up a little bit. I'm really enjoying riding it. It is water cooled, which is awesome. And uh, this bike's gonna be for sale. It's gonna be probably around, probably around 6,500 bucks, which is a great, it, it, I almost guarantee you this, it will be the cheapest V-Rod out there. And uh, it's gonna go fast. All my bikes sell fast. Uh, my, I have the bike for an average of nine days before it sells. Obviously some sell in a day, some sell in longer, but the average over the past, uh, since I've been doing this, has been nine days. Yep, like this bike. All right, guys, I'm gonna end, end transmission.